Hey guys, been a long time. Wanted to give you a video update of what's going on with the Mustang, just in general. Wanted to just talk about something about what's the point. I get this question a lot from family and friends who aren't really into cars like I am and maybe you are who watch a little bit of the videos or just subscribe to different YouTube channels for car enthusiasts about car reviews, car upgrades, mods, car parts, forums. Uh, you know who you are here out there who are on the sites maybe like I am uh, who pretty much daily check on these uh, pages or on the groups on social media. So. It, you know, what's the point? It, it was something that came up watching a few videos this uh, past week about people who were either frustrated or, you know, had some questions about things when you, you try to get a mod or a part and it doesn't work and the insanity that ensues. Because there's always going to be somebody bigger, faster, stronger in regards to what you're trying to do, but it's about being content with what you have and enjoying your mod and not always feeling depressed about not having what the next guy has or I want my car to look like that. It can be exhausting because to get it right, but it's trying to find peace and enthusiasm and where you're at right now. And that's something that I struggle with, but I learned to work with. You're never going to be, it's always perfecting. Your car is never going to be perfect. It could be something as simple as a license plate frame or a badge here or a badge there or something as large as Upgrading the motor, motor, uh, you know, engine swap, you know, short shifter. There's always going to be something. So you're going to always find yourself kind of in this agony of defeat if you don't know how to properly channel that. You know, car mods and car upgrading shouldn't. There's a balance. They shouldn't be able to take over your life. Like you shouldn't be happy or sad just because a mod is going to hopefully make everything better. Obviously, mods and upgrades make me happy, but at the same time, it's not the source of my complete and soul happiness. So I just wanted to bring that out, like, you know, what's the point? The point is, you just try to improve and make your car unique to you. There's going to be a GT350 out there. There's going to be a Roush Supercharged. There's going to be... Um, a Shelby. There's going to be all types of stuff out there that's faster than yours. It looks a little bit cooler or it all depends on your opinion. I've seen people be really bold with really crazy stuff that I would never do in a Mustang, but that's what's cool about it is because it's yours. You make it unique to what your personality is. You make it unique to how you want to be, have yourself seen. So I just want to encourage you out there who say, I can't do that because it's risky or I just want, I don't, I don't want to have people say things. If you start to do things for people's opinions and not your own, then you fall into this weird trap of always trying to please people. So I wanted to just bring that message out today of just trying to be content and, and, and be happy with what you got. And if you do want to upgrade or mod your car, Mustang or not, try not to have that be the source of your happiness or your depression because you're always going to be perfecting and the car you have now all of a sudden might be old and try to stay out of making that like your sole only purpose in life because I sometimes feel like that's what it is for me like I'm always on different sites like you know AmericanMuscle.com, Late Model Restoration, I go the list goes on about and I make these fake carts up and I, I, I don't check out or I try to manipulate a different way to pay the bills this month so you know, what's the point? The point is that take it in stride, uh, be patient, be consistent, and you know, whenever you buy a car, and if your if your intention is to mod it or not, have that have that assumption when you. Sorry, I'm taking a turn here. When you sign the contract or the lease or the note, make sure this is the car that you really. Uh, Yeah, see? So, that was too hard of a turn, and <laughs> the camera fell, so sorry about that. But, yeah, I just on my mind, I wanted to share with you guys, uh, let me get to the Mustang, I I'm over the whole what's the point thing, but just wanted to put that out there to people. The 
Mustang is, as you know, there was a snowstorm last weekend. It's I got to wash it. It's got salt and stuff, and I, I'm a little worried about all the salt that I have to clean off. So I'll probably do it this week just to rinse it off. Not a crazy detail, but I do want to get that salt off the the exhaust pipes um, and the other the other upgrades. I do want to dyno the car just for fun. I I, ta I contacted the local dra dragway here, Echo Dragway. They're not open till the end of February, like I think middle of the end of February, so in a few weeks. I want to do a quarter mile quarter mile run, and then there's also a a, uh, a dyno shop next to it. So just to see, it. I still am point for the the appearance mods. I I know I said that in a couple videos that I really want to do the upgrades visually but now that I got this Cobb access port and the car is pulling like ridiculously and it's just making me lose my MPGs and it's kind of, I'm getting that fever so I just want to I just want to dyno it I'll share the results with you guys in a few weeks and I know I want to do a quarter mile pull I still have to get the car pro tuned I'm waiting for a few things <laughs> tax return you know what's the point don't want to don't want to destroy my entire tax return with car mods, but I want to get my tax return in, and then I want to get a pro tune with Adam um, Brunson. I I think a lot of people know him already from the EcoBoost community. He tunes EcoBoost, and I think he's tuning Subaru WRX fans EcoBoost, who's actually having some trouble with his, his car in general right now. So, But the Adam tune is something I want to do. Again, just spark plugs and tune, and then this summer or maybe earlier get a um going over train tracks here going over the um getting a new intercooler so that would be it hopefully for the performance months but before we do all that i just want to see where the car is at prior quarter mile dyno that would be it then jump in again add a pro tune dyno quarter mile intercooler and know how to get a pro tune again after the intercooler but that's something we'll just do so yeah that's uh, an update right now I just wanted to go through some things that were on my mind and where the Mustangs at and where it's headed visually oh yeah sorry before I end visually I think I came up with how I want the car to finally look I was talking about plastic dipping and full dipping and all this kind of stuff and I've been kind of swayed by the stripes I don't I know it some people might think it's a little bit tacky or cheesy or a little old school but I'm I really like the way the stripes look on the, on the S550. So I'm thinking that I might do the GT350 black stripes on this car with the white pinstripe. I saw it on a GT350 obviously and it just, I felt like that was the one. You know, like, love at first sight. Um, I'm gonna try to get the big worm graphics kit and then of course get that done when the weather's a little bit better and then then the rims I want to get new rims so those are the two visual mods I want to do this year not year because uh, I said I want to do as much mods as possible this year but those are the two mods I want to get done that are on my, my mind right now is the, the big worm graphics and the rims and then the mods uh, up performance are the pro tune and, and the intercooler so that would be that would be pretty awesome to get that done but that's it for now uh, sorry about the dropping of the camera and the steering wheel in your face but these are raw real uncut videos that sounds so stupid anyways like subscribe share enjoy stay warm peace